Welcome and congratulations on your new Tiffany Trigger. My name is Alex. I'm here to help guide you through the installation process of the 601 Ruger M77 Tank Safety Trigger Assembly, as well as give a few tech tips where needed to make the installation process seamless. Without further ado, let's get into it. To get started, we're going to make sure that the firearm is unloaded, chamber is empty, make sure that's, that's all good. Go ahead and remove the bolt. Set that off to the side. And then there's going to be three screws, one on the bottom of the trigger guard. Go through here. There should be two more, one in the front, one in the middle. All three of those need to be removed to remove the stock from the action. Now that we have the action removed from the stock, we can want to make sure that this is in the safe position in the back. Double check that, make sure it's back. Full lock. Now we can take this safety transfer bar Gonna pull that out from the button. It'll free that. Set that off to the side. So don't want to lose that. Now with this front one should just rotate out. Applying a little bit of pressure to this gives you clearance on this side to slide this up and out. Now for the safety itself, don't want to lose this spring, so we're going to kind of put a little pressure from this side, pop that out. You can move the trigger back and forth a little, should free that. Take your spring. And on to the next step. To remove the factory trigger, we're going to use a 1 8 punch. To remove this front roll pin from the right side of the housing to the left. Once that one is removed, we can go ahead and remove this rear sear pin from the left side, pushing it out to the right. Here are the components that are going to be removed from the action with your starting with your front roll pin, trigger assembly. Then this this will be captured separately with this rear pin, your spring and your sear. The sear will be reused. The spring you want to make sure you do not reinstall when installing the Timney trigger. We're going to go ahead and check this engagement surface down here. See if it digs into your nail. If it does, we're going to take a fine stone and just smooth the edge a little bit so it doesn't have a sharp edge. Now to get started installing the Timney trigger, we're going to put the sear back in position want to make sure this little dimple is facing in toward the action. You're going to line that up. Take your pin. Insert that back. Sometimes this pin can be a little bit looser. You can take a piece of tape and just cover it. That way the pin doesn't remove when moving the action around for reinstalling this. We will now remove this front block using a 330 seconds Allen key. Go ahead and remove that completely from the trigger assembly. This block is going to actually reinstall, lined up with that front roll pin hole. With this tape on here, we can rotate it to drive that pin from left to right. With the roll pin reinstalled on the front, we can go ahead and put the trigger assembly, line it up, sear in place on that front tab. Take the screw that we removed and go ahead and tighten that down on that front post. This will secure the trigger assembly to the action. With the Timney trigger installed, you want to function check. Make sure that this is moving freely for your safety. Pivots without catching or binding. Now I'm going to reinsert the bolt assembly. 
because now is a good time to test it, see if we need to make any adjustments. Make sure that is not catching or blocking this here. And it doesn't fire. So we'll remove the bolt, remove the trigger housing, and remove a few thousands from the top of the sear. It's going to be this little portion here that's sticking up. Just going to remove a few thousands from the top. With a little movie magic, went downstairs and removed about three thousands from the top surface of the sear. This will allow the firing pin to release instead of getting caught up on the top edge. This was making contact with the action on this little edge here of the safety. So took a file to it, removed a couple of thousands of material, so that way it moves freely. Now we can reinstall this into the action. Function check it again. A lot easier to do this now versus putting the stock and everything back on. Now that we function checked it, made sure everything is working, we can go ahead and remove the trigger from the action one more time. This will allow us to easily install the safety components. This trigger does not need to be in the action. We can go ahead and start out with this small coil spring. Long leg is going to go through this roll pin. Set that in place. And the smaller leg will go through the smaller hole on the bolt lock pin. With those aligned, have a little bit of spring tension to it. We can take our bolt lock, slide it over the hole, and the flat edges on the top will actually slide in the corresponding edges of that bolt lock pin, securing it in place. Now with your safety button, you want to make sure that this longer portion is toward the front of the action. The small portion to the back. Go ahead and insert that and the provided transfer bar. Small edge will go forward. Can be pushed into the slot. And you kind of want to secure this with your finger. Function check it. Make sure that the bolt lock goes completely out of place on this side of the action when it's rotated. Now we can insert Timney trigger. The little fork will go around that transfer bar. Get that nice and secure. Now we could take a pair of needle nose pliers and we want to put that on the safe position just to give us a little bit more room and fold these ears over that bar. This will secure it in place. and actuate the safety. With the trigger reinstalled on the action, we can go ahead and insert the bolt. Make sure it is in the fire position so that way your bolt lock isn't blocking your bolt from entering it. We want to function check. Safety works. Move it to the fire position. It fires. This is the feeling that we want it to be when installed in the stock. This is the time consuming portion of the install. We're going to remove material from the inside pocket of the stock, starting with the left hand side for clearance with the safety and safety transfer bar. We'll show you along the way as we will make adjustments 
to get this fit perfect. And on your trigger guard, these two ears will have to be removed. We'll get started on that. Off camera, we opened up the stock. These are going to be the main contact points that you're going to have to look out for. First is going to be this front section with a screw. Mounting screw will make contact with a middle bridge. Your safety saddle and the safety transfer bar. Those are the main components where you're going to need clearance in the wood stock along with this bottom section for the trigger housing to fit what we did here on the stock is removed this groove on the left hand side for the safety transfer bar. In the pocket, there's going to be an opening for that trigger right here in the center and a little bit here on the back side just for added clearance and then this middle bridge piece for that mounting screw. Now that we confirm that the action fits in the stock, we can go ahead and reassemble it, including the bottom metal. With the action reinstalled in the stock, we can go ahead and do a final function check. We want to make sure that the action functions the exact same way as it did out of the stock, now with everything tightened down. It is very important to double check it. If for whatever reason it does not function the exact same way, more material is needed to be removed from the stock for it to function. I'm going to go ahead and close the bolt, put it in a safe position, does not fire this one with a bolt lock, locks the bolt, move it to fire, and it releases the firing pin. And that's it. We hope this helped you with the installation process of the 601 Ruger M77 tank safety. If you have any remaining questions, our world-class customer service agents are more than happy to help. Just give us a call, 623-223-1111, or head over to the website, click the yellow Contact Us button on the right-hand side. If not, congratulations on installing your new Timney trigger. You can now go shoot with ease knowing you've got the world's finest trigger in your hands.